What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. If you watch this channel for any length of time, then you know that I change phones about once every month or so. And what is the most frustrating things about changing phones? For me, the most frustrating thing about getting a new phone is setting it up. Inevitably, you're going to lose lots of text messages, emails, and data that you would have had on your other phone. And restoring those files to your new phone can be a pain in the rear. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to easily transfer data from an old handset to a new handset using Wondershare Mobile Trends. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I've got the Galaxy S7 Edge and I just got the HTC 10. Transferring files from my old phone to my new phone is super easy with Wondershare Mobile Trends. I wanna show you guys how to do that. The one awesome thing about Mobile Trends is the fact that you can actually transfer your Android files over to your iOS device. So if you got a new iPhone, you need to transfer your contacts, your text messages, your emails, you can easily do that with this software. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is go ahead and open up the application. And I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can pick this up for yourself. There's actually several things that you can do with this program for your PC or Mac. You can do a phone to phone transfer. So going from an iPhone to Android or going from your old Android phone to your new Android phone, you can actually back up your entire phone. So every bit of data, app data, uh, emails, text messages, everything on your phone, you get a complete backup. Now there are ways to do this if you've rooted your device and certainly if you've installed a custom recovery on your device, there are ways to do this, but this you can do without root and it makes things just real easy. Once you have a backup for your phone, you can actually restore that backup pretty easily and then you can erase your old phone to prepare it to sell to get your new phone. So we're just going to transfer our data from one phone to the other, so I'll hit start. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my source phone, which is the Galaxy S7 Edge. <clears throat> you can see you can flip them back and forth. So we'll just kind of let it do its thing here and connect to the Galaxy. Okay, that's connected. So the next thing we're gonna do is connect the HC10. Okay, and you can see the destination phone is the HC10. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is choose what we want to copy. I don't have to copy everything here. I don't necessarily need my call logs. I don't need all my photos. Uh, or my videos, and I'm not gonna do my apps just for the sake of this video. What I'll do here is my contacts, text messages, and that's all. So we'll go ahead and start the transfer. It says, please do not disconnect either phone. Please confirm the pop-up window on your phone by clicking yes. So I'll click yes on there. It says hit okay. Okay, so it's doing its thing here. Basically it's just copying over all of my contacts. You guys can see I have like tons and tons of contacts. So we just kind of let it do its thing and when it's finished, we'll come back to it. Now technically, if you're going from Android to Android, your Google account has all of your contacts. So you wouldn't necessarily need this going from Android to Android as far as the contacts are concerned because as soon as you sign into your Google account, you can sync your contacts. But where this is really awesome is this works between Android and iOS. So where your iPhone has all of the contacts stored in the cloud, uh, iCloud, and Android has everything backed up through the Google contacts, you can actually merge your contacts over onto iOS from Android, which just makes that conversion super simple. Or going from iPhone to Android makes everything super simple. Okay, you guys can see it finished up with the contacts and now it is transferring all my text messages. And I've never actually inserted a SIM card into the HTC 10 yet, so I've never used any text messages. I will actually have all my text messages from the S7 Edge on my HTC 10, which is cool, because normally when you change devices, you lose all your previous text messages. Okay, so it says we are all done. Please confirm the pop-up window on your phone by clicking yes to set the default SMS app back. So we'll unlock, hit yes and then click OK, and we are now finished. Okay, so I should be able to go into my text messages here, and I've got all of my text messages. I now have all of my contacts are already there in place. I mean, so you guys can see every single one of those contacts have been transferred over. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this quick demonstration of the Wondershare Mobile Trans software for your PC or Mac. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.